A bloke far smarter than me once said, a man's home is his castle, but he didn't live on the point. This is not about one home, this is not about one street, this is the social cleansing of an entire suburb. This is a story about how a government turned homes into houses, putting a for sale sign right across a suburb. You're stealing from taxpayers and selling it off freehold. For the benefit of the entire social housing system in New South Wales. You might have a government that knows the cost of everything and the value of nothing, but I don't believe the Australian community is like that. Have a look at it. <laughs> a tale of forced eviction where checkbooks have more weight than history books. Now you're doing this because some idiot down the road is going to build up a huge, big gambling casino. We've got 400 tenants living in a very valuable part of Sydney. If I do this at Millers Point, where's it going to start next? It makes you question how much we value our past and our people. It's un-Australian what's being done to us. I don't want to go, and I shouldn't have to go. There is no coming back. The properties are going to be sold. When Perry is under attack, what do we do? We're here today to say that legal action has commenced. You may take our houses, but you're not taking our food and our speech. The community has been really failed by, by this government. I feel like fucking hanging myself here. Housing have blood on their hands because of this. Yeah.